Uh, the Seattle Seahawks travel in the face of San Francisco 49ers. And no matter how bad both these teams may be in any given year, it always seems to be a bloodbath between the two teams. Like there is always something to play for, despite record. Um, the, 40, the 49ers, they scraped out their first win against the Giants, and coming off of a bye week right now, I think they're going to make sure they give Seattle everything they got. Uh, the 49ers have a legitimate shot as well, seeing as that Seattle defense is banged up this year. I think the slight difference maker in this week's matchup is the Seattle defensive line going against that 49ers offensive line. But a well-contested fight. I got the Seahawks taking this matchup 19-13. to 13. Wait a minute. Shim, is Blair Wall, I'm trying to find Google, is Blair Walls coming to this game? The Seattle Seahawks kicker, is he coming to this game? Oh, yeah, he is. But you know what? To this game. This is this is a, this is another bye week game. I mean, listen, I, I know the Seahawks, I know the Seahawks got a lot of injuries in the back. Um, Sherman's out. Um, their safety's out. Camp Chancellor, excuse me. Um, but come on. This is the 49ers. This is, a, this is another bye week game, Seahawks fans. Don't Blair Walsh can sit down and practice kicking, let the Seahawks go for two every time they score. But when it comes to the Saints, the only thing fans want to know, the only thing that matters right now is when is Jimmy Garoppolo going to play. That's it. I had the Seahawks winning this game. 24 to 17. I gave the 17 points to the 49ers only because Byron Maxwell is just no good. And I, I can see Bethard go up there two, a couple of times. And she she killed Griffin and he got a concussion. So I, I'm not, I mean, a score. Got you. But got you. 